if you just created a very nice app using Power Apps and connected to SharePoint. And now you want to ensure that the users just access the data through the app and not mess with the SharePoint list directly, you are in the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure SharePoint to prevent users from accessing the SharePoint lists via link. For in this example, the user can see the data and add it through the app, but if he opens the link directly, he doesn't have the permission. This is just one of the videos that I teach on my Power Apps course on Udemy that I'm going to leave a coupon here in the fixed comment. There, you are going to learn how to build this app step by step and in the end configure all the SharePoint configurations for securing the data access. So let's watch the lesson. Now the last configuration that we can do is not even let the user access the list and force him to use just the app. So we don't want the user to see the lists using the SharePoint because he already has access through the app with all the rules that we implemented. Now we are in, in our site that we created for the app. We are the site owners and let's configure this so the user cannot access the lists using the link. Again, we are going to go to the site configuration and go to site permissions. Let's go to advanced permissions settings and here we can see where we can configure that. Going to permission levels, we see that, that we have these five permissions. If I click in any of those, we can see that we can change the permissions. And here we have several toggles that we can select or unselect. So what changes between each level of permissions is the selection of these toggles. For example, we have list permissions where we can enable adding, editing, deleting, viewing items. And we have site permissions that we can enable editing or not the site. In order to disable the link, we just need to uncheck this one, view application pages. It means view forms, views and application pages enumerate lists. If we uncheck this one, then the user will not be able to access the list anymore. I don't want to change this one, that's the default row. I want to create a custom one. So I'm going to copy the description because it will be basically the contribute, but with this restriction that it's not allowing to view application pages. The user can still create items, but he will not be able to see through the SharePoint interface. So if we scroll down, we have an option to copy permission levels. So we don't need to give all the permissions like this one, one by one. You can click here. This will open a new page that we can copy the permission level and we can give the new name. Let's say contribute without, without links. You can give a better name, um, a more meaningful one. I, I can think anything right now. And for the description, I'm going to paste. So now I'm just going to add, but cannot open the link in the SharePoint site. Okay, now what I'm going to change is just uncheck this view application pages. Let's then save it, clicking on create to create this new permission level. And we can see the permission level here there of the others. This is called contribute without links. Now let's go back to the part where we have the teams. And to these teams, timesheet app users, we are going to set that permission. Let's select this team and then edit user permissions. Now let's change from contribute to contribute without links and click on OK. Now this timesheet app users has the contribute without links permission level and our user Clark Kent, it's inside this group. So this user should not be able to access the list URL anymore. Let's see what happens when we go back to his screen. He was accessing the list here. If I refresh the app, let's see what's, what happens. It says you need permission to access the list. But if we refresh the Power Apps app, we can see that we still can see the items. So he can access the items, but he doesn't have permission to open the link using the SharePoint app. If I go to the site URL, he can still open the site, 
see the site information, but when we click on timesheet lists, we are not able to access the list. Even if we go to site contents, that's where we usually see all the lists, we cannot access it. So he has access to this site. In case we had some information here, some pages that show some news or other things, but the lists are disabled. And now the user cannot edit the data except by using the Power Apps app. Even though he has the URL, he cannot do anything using the SharePoint interface. Now we improved the security of our data.